Today, I will be taking you on a tour of Disney's All-Star Movies Resort. Hey guys, it's KJ. Welcome to my channel. Today, I am going to be taking you on a tour of All-Star Movies. It's a little dark right now. It's early in the morning, but hopefully the sun will come up soon and I'm going to give you a full tour. And without further ado, let's take a tour of All-Star Movies at Walt Disney World. So here is where you enter into All-Star Music. If you guys are wondering why it's dark, it's not because it's nighttime. It is 6.30 in the morning, 6.33 to be exact. So <laughs> that's why it's a little dark. Uh, so this is where you would enter, right over here. And we're going to get a closer look. Right to the left of it, that is where the buses are. So it says All-Star Movies over there. And that is where all your buses line up. And believe it or not, a Magic Kingdom bus just left at 6.30 a.m. So over here is also, as you see, a taxi pulling through or a mirror's uh, bus pulling through. That is where your transportation will pick you up. Oh, here guys, look, here comes another bus. That's going to Hollywood Studios, it looks like. So let's make our way to the front of the resort. Here is where your transportation will pick you up. If you are getting a Mirrors Connect or an Uber, this is where transportation will pick you up. Bell Services is to your left. And as I said, this is where the buses will pick you up for the different parks. So again, here we go. Here is Bell Services on our left. And this is where you enter the main Hi. lobby. Good morning. So coming in here, the main lobby, All Star Resort Disney. They have a little red carpet, like it's a movie. And then over to our left over here, uh, Wish was the latest Disney film, animated film, so they have a big sign for that here, as well as the red carpet if you wanted to take pictures. And then next to that, this is a little area where you can sit and watch movies or cartoons. So if you're checking in, your little ones can hang out here, or maybe you're waiting for your mirrors connect and just need to hang out until your transportation gets here. Here's where you can hang out. And then across on the other side, we have another waiting area over there, some couches. And then here is where you're going to check in or if you need anything from the front desk this is where it is you guys can see they have fun little detail here they've got mickey filming mini and then pluto on i think that's called a boom mic <laughs> let me know in the comments down below and then behind the desks they have a little film like a little film reel of the mickey shorts love that and then up here look at the lights the film reel so gotta love all of the little details here but yeah here is the front desk and then you head this way. We're gonna head to the back of the resort. So walking back this way, they have something called character clicks. Now you can like take your picture with the characters I'll show you. So character clicks, I guess it's powered by AT&T. So here, you would stand here, it tells you where to look. And then, you know, touch to begin, use your magic band or your phone or whatever, your theme park ticket tells you all the different things that you can do. And then this is for Disney's 100th. So you'll have a character come out. There's Mickey and Pluto. And they'll just say, you know, say cheese. And then you'll be like in the middle of the photo. And then over here on our left, we have some restrooms, the phones, and the mailbox. They also have those portable power chargers if you should need that. So back here we have the restrooms. We've got some water fountains if you need that. Some benches if you need to sit a little table. And then some phones over here. And then coming out this way, around to our left here, it shows you where the transportation is. You can head to the transportation that way. And then up here, it says Donald's Double Feature. And that is the store. And if you guys look at the top here, I believe that is Huey. He's hanging uh, from the top over there. It's a little fun thing. And you know, just always want to look around, look up, because he's chilling there. And then here is the store. Uh, it's closed because, like I said, it's very early. I think it opens at 7 a.m. Uh, no, 7.30, guys. Okay, so the shop hours are 7.30 to 11. But here is the store, just like any, you know, standard Disney Resort store. They have merch and they have, you know, if you need toiletries and things like that. The toiletries are, like, towards the back over there. They actually have seltzer. They did not have seltzer <laughs> in the uh, food court, but they have seltzer there. So I got myself a couple of uh, cans of that. Here it says All Star Movies Hall of Fame. So right now it is themed as Star Wars. It may always be themed as Star Wars. Let me know in the comments down below. I actually don't know. So here is the Star Wars theme. Oh no, it must change. It looks like it's it's digital. So I guess it does change. 
but here they have different films. So they have Star Wars, they have other movies they don't know that looks like maybe Apollo 13. Let me know in the comments down below, Forest Gump, there's Walt Disney, so let me know what the movies are. Here is where the world premiere food court is, we'll come back to that in a moment. They also have some other movies over here on the wall posted and then over here we have the real fun arcade as well as the ATM so over here we have the ATM and then it looks like what is this touch to start so I think these are dog tags well let us yeah so you can choose different dog tags and then over here don't know if it's open no nope, it's locked Okay, so then over here is the arcade, which is closed at the moment. So the hours of the arcade are 8 a.m. to 11 p.m. So I'll just give you guys a little view inside there. But that is the arcade. It goes back pretty far, like farther than I would expect. So if you want to just, you know, spend some time in there, getting some energy out or what have you, uh, you can do that. And then these doors over here, that is where the pool is so I'll just pop out just so you guys can get an idea over here that's the Fantasia pool straight ahead and now let's pop back this way so here is the Muppets another all-star Hall of Fame theme for the Muppets and then coming back this way check out the lampposts on the side so that is lampposts on the side of the food court so now we will enter the food court you can actually get your caricature drawn over here. There's usually someone here. I mean, like I said, it's very early, so no one's here. And then over here, they have a penny press machine. They have a couple of them, or they have medallions here. So they have the 100th, uh, 100 Years of Wonder collectible medallions that you can pick out here, as well as one of the penny machines. And over here, they have Disney's Food and Drink, Disney's All-Star Movies Resort World Premiere Court. So they list some of the things that you can get. You know, you've got your selection of burgers, your grab and go, sweets and hand scooped ice cream. They have breakfast, lunch and dinner items. So here, you know, right now they have breakfast. So uh, you, know, you can get lunch and dinner as well. But right now it's breakfast. You get your Mickey waffles and things like that. So here, they also have different movies on the wall, like different posters, movie posters. They have the Haunted Mansion, which came out several months ago at the time of filming, so I'm surprised that is still up, but pretty out on Disney Plus. So here is your food court. Actually, if you look across, you can see Silver Screen Spirits. That is actually, you have access to the bar, the pool bar from in here. And then here, walking this way, the food court, you can hear is your mobile order pickup. And then if you come back over this way, here is the food court. So they have the different options you can choose from. Here is where you can get your drinks. And then back here, I'm just going to show you a little tuck, tucked away corner. Here you have your little forks and spoons and knives and things. And then if you keep going this way, this is where we actually ate the other night. There's just like a little corner back here. Oh, Oliver and Company was playing last night as well. By the way, here's where you can get your resort mugs. Over here. They also have some crayons and uh, coloring pages over this way. So they have crayons and coloring pages here, and then over there is where they play a movie, and it was Oliver and Company last night, and uh, that's what it is tonight. So, and more of these light lamp posts, guys. Just keeping up with that theme, it makes me think of singing in the rain. So, I'll just head back outside just to show you where we're at. So when you walk out that way, here is the real spot where you have the movie Out of the Stars. The playground is straight across and that's your pool, so. And there's the, uh, the pool bar. So now we are about to enter Andy's room. So they have a door here that you can go through. So here we go into Andy's room. We're in Andy's hallway, I guess. And now we will enter Andy's room right here. So taking a closer look, it says Andy's room, keep out, except Molly. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so now coming in again here, let's start on the left. So you've got some blocks here that spell out Buzz. And then here we have a ginormous Buzz Lightyear. You can also see the toy soldiers on the top of the building as well. And then... Across from Buzz, 
we do have Woody, but we have Bo Peep right here, and there's these little Mickey checkers. And I'm guessing they're there so that you can stand in front of Bo Peep and take a photo. They also have Rex on this side. My little guy went nuts when he saw him. He's like, T-Rex, T-Rex. He calls him T-Rex. And then he also has checkers in front of him. And then there is a giant checkerboard right here as well. And then we have the window. So you really feel like you're in Andy's room. This is probably one of the coolest places on property. It does rival Art of Animation because that definitely, I think, has some great photo spots as well. But we love Toy Story in our house, so this is probably one of the coolest ones. And then over here we have the Woody blocks, the blocks that spell out Woody. And then you have a three-story tall Woody. And Woody has like the film in the old days, <laughs> the film over here surrounding him, probably so that no one can climb on top of Woody. But very cool. And then, you know, we have the back of Rex. You can see Rex's tail here, which again, my two-year-old wanted to see. He's like, I want to see his tail, mommy. So we came around the back and then the back of Bo Peep. And then over here is the room with the doors. So now let's head out of Andy's room. And right outside Andy's room, typically you'd find some of these things closer to the pool area. But right over here, they have a ping pong table. And also, if you notice the street, the, sh the street, <laughs> the road, or you know, where you'd walk, it's like a street. So you can see like the yellow lines going down. But here's the ping pong table. But they have the street because here we have RC, who is the little race car. So when you come into Andy's room, here we have the race car, so this sort of starts off Andy's room. And then coming back this way, you have your bucket of toy soldiers. That's where the stairs are, so like I said, here are the toy soldiers. They're on top of each building. And then we have the checkers. So these you usually see by the pool. The pool's not far, we'll get to that. But here are the checkers. They also have a giant chessboard. And then they have a little area here where you can sit on benches. I do want to point out that it does say no smoking, so this is a non-smoking area, and they have a little umbrella for some shade. And they have chairs and tables that you can watch the movie. The screen comes down right over there, and I'll actually insert a little clip here. They played Home Alone. So what's cool though is that they have all the movies you can see. So movies under the stars, so they have Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So they have Home Alone and the Santa Claus and Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas because it is Christmas time. But they also have Indiana Jones, Cars, Meet the Robinsons, and The Empire Strikes Back. They also have the activity board, so coming soon. So here they have the wellness scavenger hunt, real fun arcade, poolside activities, football games, day viewing. Oh, that's cool. Got to tell Johnny about that. Paint your own animation cell, arts and crafts, arcade tournament, sorcerers, campfire, and letters to Santa. And then they list the movies under the stars. So coming out of here, the real spot, straight across, they do have the playground. So we'll go take a closer look at that. Now, just a few facts about all-star movies. It is one of three all-star resorts. There's also all-star sports, and there is all-star music, which we have stayed at all of those. And then here is the playground. Apparently there's, we also have laundry back this way, so I'll give you guys a closer look at the playground. The value resorts are known for having playgrounds. So the all-stars all have playgrounds. Pop Century has a playground. But check this out, I mean, it's got like a legit playground. We've got a few slides, we've got the sand, got some things to climb on, some things to play with. So this is a really nice playground over here. And so let's take a little bit of a walk back this way. So coming back this way, we are hitting the Fantasia area and that's going to be where your pool is. So over here, is where the pool is. So you guys can see here, this is actually like the smaller pool. I'll show you guys that, but just to give you an overall view, we've got parking here on the left. 
And now we're going to come around this way and head to the Fantasia area. So here is the kiddie pool for your little ones. So you can come and play straight across is where the laundry is. But here is a little area where if you have little ones that you can go like in an actual pool versus the splash pad. So that's neat. And then coming back around this way, we'll look at the pool. So I'll give you guys like a full perspective as we're going along here. But let's see. So coming around this way, we've got your main pool here and you guys can see here we've got Fantasia Mickey so I'll give you another view of Fantasia Mickey but he is at the top of the pool over here by the way it's very early you guys so that's why everything looks so empty and then here in the Fantasia area we have the giant jack-in-the-box we've got your Boy, soldiers over here we've got your doll over here and then straight across we have the Fantasia hat and the brooms so let's just take a peek at the back this way so at the very back of the resort we have love bug six and seven so back here we have two more buildings and this is the Herbie Herbie fully loaded area. So you've got Herbie on one side up there. You've got a bunch of tires here. And then you've got the winner circle over here and then at the back of Herbie over there. So here is the winner circle up here. And this is probably the farthest of all the rooms for sure. You've also got some wrenches and different tools and things. Over here, you've got a screwdriver and the little hearts because it's Herbie Love Bug. So now we're going to head around. And then here on the end, they have Disney's Love Bug Mickey 6. So they have just the cool little details here, like one of those uh, directors. I don't know what they're called. Let me know in the comments down below what they're called. But you know, when you hit like action, so they have one of those. But let's keep going. So now, as you guys can see, we've hit another area. So right to my right is Cinema Hall. There's the pool. And here is the 101 Dalmatians area. So all along the rooms, they have little Dalmatians running. I wonder if they have 101. Someone drop that in the comments below. Here we have Cruella at the top. She's driving her car. We've got, I think one of the guys' names is Boris. <laughs> we've got her henchman from 101 Dalmatians. And then look, we've got a, a Pongo, well, Purdy, but she's being hidden by the tree at the moment. But here we have the giant three-story high Pongo and Purdy. So Purdy is on our left. She is the mom. And then on our right, we've got Pongo. And then again, all those little Dalmatians going around the rooms. They also have the detail of all of the bones on the floor, like dog bones, dog biscuits. And they even have a bench over here that is shaped like a dog bone. How adorable. I love the little details here. And then on this side, if you guys know, they love to watch TV, those 101 Dalmatians. They have a TV so you could go and you know, pose in the TV. I think John and I have some pictures of that. They've got some books on the TV. We've got the Dalmatian on the rug watching his favorite crime fighting dog. I think it's like a German Shepherd that they're watching. And then we're gonna come back here to the Mighty Ducks area. So some fun facts about the All-Star Movies Resort. It is 260 square feet in size, the smallest and typically least expensive of all the rooms on Disney property. All-Star Movies, along with All-Star Sports, All-Star Music, and Pop Century are the value hotels, as well as Art of Animation, but Art of Animation has the suites, so it's a little bit different. The only area at Art of Animation that's on par with All-Star Movies would be the aerial section. So here we have Duck Pond Pool, and if you guys can tell, it's a giant hockey puck and hockey sticks. And then here is the pool, which 
we can't get into because <laughs> it's still very early, but the pool hours are 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. So here we have a giant net, and it's actually Goofy, who is the goalie. And then over here, we have a truck going by. We have the Donald's, Ducks, and Daisies. So over here, it's the Daisies would be the women's restroom. And we've got the hockey helmets here with the hockey sticks. We've got the puck, which tells us women. And then the Daisies. Then we have Ducks, which this is the laundry area. So it's actually someone in there doing laundry. <laughs> and then, uh, so here you can see like there's a laundry room. Then we have the Donald of the men. We've got even like the little bleacher seats. And then over here, that truck is falling on you guys. We have the duck helmet, like the hockey helmet. So now we are leaving the Mighty Ducks area, spinning around here. And I'm gonna take you guys back to the main area. So let's go. I do want to point out they have fire hydrants. <laughs> That's where your stairs are. We're going to go take a look at the Fantasia pool. So coming along this way, along the path, we're back in the Fantasia area, which is right across from Cinema Hall. So here we are coming this way. And you have the little brooms holding the buckets over here. And then we'll see Fantasia Mickey. He's up in the back there with the red curtain. So here he is at the front of the pool. So this is the main pool on the property for Disney, all-star Disney movies. So there he goes. There goes the squirrel too. <laughs> and then over here you've got your life jackets. You've got a ton of chairs, umbrellas, some tables to sit at as well. Again, there's Cinema Hall. So going back this way, let's head back to Cinema Hall. So on your left here, that is the front of the resort. And then if you come this way, we're going to have Cinema Hall on our left. And again, here is the pool on our right with Fantasia Mickey. The one thing I want to point out on the outside, over here, you're going to find the bar on property. So for not the only bar, the bar on that all-star movie. So this is Silver Screen Spirits, and you do have access to it from the outside, and it has, you know, now showing and featured drinks, and you can get different frozen drinks. You can get on the rocks, beer and sangria, and then your non-alcoholic drinks as well. They do have a Dole Whip movie, which that's pretty cool, huh, guys? And they have a lava smoothie as well, strawberry smoothie and Minute Maid premium lemonade for your non-alcoholic drinks. But this is just a cool little spot if you want to hang by the pool. They do have two TVs you can watch. So if you're a sports fan and want to watch some sports while you're at the pool here at All-Star Movies, you can do just that right across from the pool. Here's a map of All-Star Movies. Now, whenever I do my resort tours, I always have to show you guys the map on property. So here we have Cinema Hall. This is the place where you're gonna check in. This is where you're gonna have your dining hall and your bus stops are gonna be out front and this is where uh, the gift shop will be as well. And then if you're coming out here, Silver Screens, that's where you watch your movies under the stars. Over here is the Toy Story section. We're actually like right up here on the corner. <laughs> coming out this way, You've got your playground is over here. Here is the children's pool, the main pool, the Fantasia pool. And then, so you're here at Cinema Hall walking straight back. There's the main pool. You come back here to the Fantasia area and all the way in the back is the love bug area. And then to the right, when you come out of Cinema Hall, you have the 101 Dalmatians area as well as the Mighty Ducks area. And actually right here, guys, like right here is all-star music. So they're super close. Like if you got off of the bus stop at all-star music you could walk to your room here like you could see the hockey nets for uh, that are like where the stairs are there's like giant hockey nets and you can see them so just a little fun fact there and then if you wanted to know where the running trail was because oh look see guys I wasn't kidding it's here's here's Melody Hall for all-star music like you could go right here like to all-star 
um, movies. They're super close. Sports is like slightly farther away, but basically like these two almost touch. So here is the running trail over here if you wanted to do the running trail. The all-star resorts are basically like one giant resort, sort of, but not, but sort of. So anyway, that is a map of all-star movies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's tour. If you guys liked today's video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. And let me know in the comments down below if you've ever stayed at All Star Movies or if you would stay there now based on today's tour. And with that, I'll see you real soon. Bye!